high data tech lovers so you're thinking of buying a used laptop or a refurbished laptop just maybe to save some cash or to get something powerful at a bargain price but you really know some of the features to check on that machine before you hand over your money do you now don't worry anymore because on this video i'm going to show you some of the most important things to check if they're hidden damages on the machine if there's hidden something to do with the battery life uh something to do with the screen keyboard i'll show you all those specs in less than 10 minutes so stick around and let's dive straight into it so first thing first number one do a thorough physical inspection thorough physical inspection remember it's a used machine so you have to check on the body of the machine for any presence of a dent there might be scratches because it's a used machine so scratches are understandable but if there's a dent you have to check for any dent and uh, confirm if it is not a crack because some dents may lead to further damages on the machine especially the the body casing so check and ensure it's clean like the one i'm having over here you can see there's some scratches that is understandable but at least they're not dents at any point of the laptop have a look at these ports ensure there are no broken ports check on the usb ports well you see that one that is, is set on this other side to check on the ports ensure all the ports look right in position then after that check on the hinges because this is quite important to try to flip it like this ensure the hinge is strong and in place and you don't hear some uh, like weak points or like some cracking or joint sounds so that is quite on point and after that you definitely have to try it on on your own don't purchase a machine from somebody that is already on maybe it had some power on issues or maybe it took so much time to turn on and the person turned it on for you so that at the time of purchasing you won't be able to see any errors on the turning on but actually I prefer you turning it on and then you turn it off once again so that you confirm if it's something that can be able to turn on on its own without issues so you see i've turned it off now let me just give it time and then turn it on once again let me give it time to turn off see the bucket is on now let's turn it on once again so that we just be sure that is okay so now it's turning on yeah as it turns on maybe you can just have a look at the screen but this won't give you clear details of the screen whether the screen is good or bad i'll show you in the next part on where you can confirm if the screen is okay once it's on we have to check if the keyboard is right and there are two ways of confirming that number one just come to the laptop because if it's running any windows windows 10 or 11 we have a notepad that is always installed on the machine with the windows just open the notepad and then it's this is very very important yeah if you have time test the keys one by one you see one by one test the keys one by one don't skip that and ensure what you're typing on the keyboard is reflecting here then don't forget to test on the shift or caps lock if it's working if you press on caps lock you expect to have capital letters if you turn it off you expect to have small letters so check on that and then the shift key to test it once again also check the keyboard language because this is something that normally mess up a lot of people i see the keyboard i have right over here you can't see anywhere you can delete this escape is written each up i uh, delete is written Sample something so it means we um, i'm having a french keyboard right over here this keyboard might vary from one country to another because this is a refurbished laptop so i'm having it in french you can have the keyboard in english in american english in german in chinese it's different so ensure that you check on the keyboard so that you don't get annoyed most of the time typing or you'll end up buying or replacing a new keyboard or putting stickers on the keyboard so that you have easier typing or let's just say it make your work easier when you're typing on the keyboard so just ensure that you check on that otherwise there are a lot of softwares for typing or checking keyboard just go to any browser just come right here and search online keyboard tester so that tester will be able to test for you the keys one by one each key you press you'll see it being highlighted so it will be easier to test the keyboard like that and then after you're done with that now it's time to test the screen now for you to test the screen just ensure you have like for a case right over here you see it's white everywhere so check on the light balance on the screen other part might be dark or some part might be brighter than the other but just ensure you have equal brightness levels or darkness level on the screen so as to ensure you have a good screen and it doesn't have any dent at all and that is you've tested the keyboard you've tested the screen and now you have to test the camera so for you to the camera just come here type camera yeah and then 
click on it then you see it's working yeah so you see the camera is working so you have to check on that or maybe you can uh, record a video to check if the microphone right over there is working so that is how you test the camera and you can do like this just to check if it has some sort of lag after that now you come and check the speakers for you to check the speakers of the level just come right over here where you have the icon here the speaker and then uh, click on where you have the output setting then again come to settings right over there to get to here so at the setting here there's something here very important that i want to show you so just navigate to where you will find we have the left and right channel speakers so what you do is you put any form of music to play then come here we have left and right channel both of them are at 100 volume what you can do is you drag the left channel to zero so that you listen to how the speaker on the right is sounding then again you bring it to zero and then you up the one on the left channel listen to how it's sounding so that you know if both the speakers are sounding properly that is quite important for the speakers don't skip that step it will be actually important to you there are some things on the machine they're hidden yeah you might see here we have fingerprint scan but on the machine it's not working try testing it and it's not working so how do you know if this fingerprint scanner is working and it's actually installed on the machine what you do is you just press on control on windows and x then come to the device manager right over here device manager uh check here biometric so you see if you see something display there written biometric so you see for our case we have synaptrix uh, fingerprint sensors so it means the fingerprint scanner is working and so other cases you might be having windows hello face scanner right over there you'll see it being displayed here if you don't see this on a the machine then it means this is not working it's just something physical here to hide the port we have over there so that is how we check on that and then you see here we have bluetooth icon so it means um the bluetooth it's supported on the machine for well, things like these you have to physically check on them for trackpad for you to know if the right click is working just come to the screen and then right click you expect to see yeah something like that on the right click then you can use the left click to refresh so that means here it's working properly now remember to counter check the specs of the laptop you're buying whether they were written on the website or something that you're seeing on the sticker here to what you have on the motherboard of this machine because they might be different the person selling you the machine might be too smart and maybe change the sticker over here or change the properties on the website so that you buy something that is different the first and the easiest way to do that if you have maybe if it's hp just turn on the machine and then press continuously on f1 so that you get to see the system information that is something that you can even try with there if it is there just press on f2 before it turns on if it is lenovo turn on and then continuously press on this enter button so that you get to the bios interface where you see titan bios interface so for our case you see here the product name you can see here we have the model we have the process i7 676 so it's 7th gen matching what's written here here we also have the serial number check even the ram it's supposed to be here the amount of ram see memory size see it's 16 gb ram according to the description given the only thing that you cannot be able to see here is the storage the type of storage on this machine that is now whereby you'll have to turn on the machine then you use now step two if you use step one and maybe you try to get to the bios of dell or even h of lenovo and uh you've not managed to do so just come and use this particular step because it will give you the exact properties of that machine use control shift and escape to get to the tax manager yeah so this is the tax manager then come to the performance tab right over here tax manager then performance tab so i'm running windows 11 so once you have performance tab opened right over here you'll see everything cpu memory disk anything installed on this machine you'll see especially the physical ones so for the cpu here confirm it's i7 76 see then for the memory confirm right over here you see it's 16 gb of ram yeah you see then for storage we have on hard disk here that is hdd 500 gb then we have another one of 120 gb that is ssd you can see so that is where you can confirm all those properties that is a very important step because some people they're so fishy and they might change those specs just to dip you and get your money now after checking on everything then you have to check on the charger plug in the charger right there and then check if it's charging right over here check if there's a presence of charging indicator and then maybe give it even a minute to see if the battery percentage increases 
Then if it is del, if it is del like this, right here at the center, we normally have that pin that was so check all the presence of that pin because that pin is important in charging. And if it's not available right there, uh, the laptop will just turn on but it won't charge if that pin is broken. Same to HP. There's pin inside there. You see the small pin. So you have to check if that pin is quite in place. After that, we are not done with the battery yet. Type CMD. See, and then ensure you run it as administrator. Run the CMD as administrator. Give it time to pop. Then add the CMD right over here. Right power CFG space battery report. Report should battery report should be one word. See right over there. Yeah. So type this power CFG battery report. This should be one word, but we have a space in between here. Then press enter. So once you press enter, you'll see this message battery life report saved to file path, Windows system battery report.html. So what you do is just highlight that, double tap there on battery report to highlight it like that. Once you double tap on that, press control C, C to copy. So once you've copied that, then just come to file explorer right over here, Windows file explorer. Once it's open, then right here in it's under this PC, then you come in this space right, right over here. Then now press Control V, Control V to paste what you had copied. Control V, and then you have the battery report right over there. After that, just press on Enter, and then a tab will open to display. Just give it time. Yeah, I see. So you have battery report. It is same across all brands, HP, Dell, any laptop apart from MacBook. We come here and have a look at the battery report. This is the most important part. Check for design capacity and full charge capacity. In our case, you see the design capacity is 51 and then full charge capacity is 46. So it means the difference in between here, we've lost around 46 minus 51. That is around 5,000 5, milliwatts of uh, battery storage capacity so just to check the health of the battery you can come to the calculator on that particular machine calculator right over there and then what you do it's easy so that is you subtract this minus this so that is 51,000 51 0 50 0 70 then that is that difference you divide by if you are good in mathematics then you remember you divide by the design capacity so divide by 51 0 5 1 times 100 to get the percentage times 100 so it means here we've lost around 8.77 percent of our uh, battery life so that one minus 100 percent then we have the battery health of this machine is currently at 91 percent which is not that bad but if you get something anywhere between below 7 70 percent then that battery is a bit worn out and maybe might need replacement but remember again it's a used laptop so these are just things to show you uh, what to expect with the laptop that you're purchasing depending on the price at which you're buying it at if you're buying something at a very low price and the battery is quite low then it's quite understandable maybe you're planning to get a new battery but for our case uh, the battery is quite good so that is how you check on that the next part is not normally possible because nobody will give you time to open the machine and probably maybe it has a warranty you won't be able to open the back cover but if it doesn't have warranty and you have enough time to check on the machine just remove the bottom cover and then do this just before uh you go to the interior things remember here if you want to know if the laptop you're purchasing has a backlit keyboard then check for the presence of something that looks like this see this indicates presence of backlit if it doesn't have this then the backlit capability is not function because for Lenovo we have the icon right over here for then it's around here so always check for that if you're interested in the laptop that has backlit and all always test if it's working you see here we have a circle right here surrounding the function circle here so it means if you want this to function then you have to press on fn on that for that function to work yeah finally as i said if you have time enough time now remove the back cover get your studio and remove the back cover and then 
do a physical inspection on this machine. If it is an apple that has been repaired or the motherboard has been repaired, you will easily notice that just by checking like this, look for the presence of oily oily places or something that looks like soldering, then it means uh, it has been repaired. For our case, as you can see, it's quite neat, clean, no sign of any physical repair or damage on the machine. The fan is quite clean, everything is just quite okay, apart from the back cover that we removed. So those are some things that you can check and just ensure that you check on them properly because your money is at stake and you have to get the best deal for your money. All right, so those are some of the important things that you have to check before you get to buy your used or refurbished laptop. Remember, a great deal is not a great deal if you get something that will give you a lot of headache afterwards. Other than don't forget to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to this account if you really appreciate this content on this channel and see you next time. Big up.